Welcome back, this is Dan Heavey with CF Ninja Hacks, and in this video we are going to continue down our success path by looking at funnels inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. I'm gonna shoot two different videos here. First off, I'm gonna go through some existing funnels and funnel templates that already are in ClickFunnels or ones that I've already created in one of my workspaces. And then we're gonna go into our success path workspace and we're going to go through the entire process as if you are absolutely brand new to ClickFunnels and you just got a new workspace and you're going to build out something 100% from scratch. And uh, going forward, there are going to be more videos, of course, on things like products and follow-up funnels and marketing and stuff like that. But a lot of those things either are not completely released yet or they are not uh, working, functioning very well, especially some of the products and order forms and payment gateways and stuff like that still have some issues going on. So we're not going to get into that in here. I'll show you a little bit of where they go, but then those will be uh, follow-ons for, like I said, things like follow-up funnels and stuff like that. So let's go into our sites and funnels. And the first thing I want to show you is here, if you come to your pages before we ever go into the funnels, if you come to your pages, you go there and you can come here and you go to funnel pages and every single funnel page that you build is going to end up being in here. And the reason why is because these funnel pages are intended to be um, used in multiple places or can be used in multiple places, just like with products in 2.0 and follow up funnels in 2.0. Uh, the funnel pages are interchangeable as well. I was going to say also just like the universal sections. So think of a funnel page as being universal, just like a universal section is, just like a product is, just like a uh, follow-up funnel is. They can be used in multiple different places, in different funnels, different pages, whatever, depending on which one of those we're talking about. So once you create a funnel page, it will end up in here. If you need to come in and just edit an individual page, you can find those here without having to go into the funnel itself. But now if we go into the funnels, you're going to see here, this is uh, an account where I have a bunch of them already that I've dropped in here. Most of these are just things that I'm kind of playing around with. And so let's see on this page here, you can have all your funnels, ones that were imported, and then also ones that you archived. So if you um, delete it or archive it, it'll end up in there, just like in 1.0, how they ended up in an archive folder. You never really get rid of funnels or funnel pages or anything like that. Then over here, we can filter on certain things. You can create yourself a filter and you can say, do I want it uh, by the name, live mode, created at, created date, is, and then you can have things over here. So is, is not, starts with, does not. So you got all kinds of conditions here for your filters. You can also sort any way you would like. You can have uh, two different views here. You can have it in squares like this, or you can have it in lines across like this. And then let me see here. We can also say, what do we all want for our columns on this page? We'll add in here that we want it to also have the time that this was added, time and date that this was added. And you can have that in there as well. And if you want to create a new funnel, you would click right here to create a new funnel. You would put in a, so we'll just say this is going to be our demo new funnel. And as you type it in, you've seen it plenty of times before, it'll automatically take what you put in right there and it will put it there as well. And then we can create that brand new funnel. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, it should take us into the funnel itself, but we're not quite ready to go there yet. So let's bounce back out of that. And then over here, you can also do recipes. So let's click on the recipes, and then you have all kinds of different pre-built funnels, again, very similar to uh, how 1.0 worked. And so you could do all of them here, or you can do ones that generate leads or ones that sell a product. So let's just say we're going to do one here for sell a product. And let's say we want to choose a summit funnel. So we can choose our summit funnel. And this page here, I'm not really sure what this page is for because, um, you know, I thought maybe, okay, you can move things around. Eh, you can't move anything around. Um, can I put in a split page test? No. Can I remove this? No. 
Um, so again, I'm not really sure what this page is for, except that you can look at your funnel. It's going to be three pages. And then you could say, let's create a funnel. And again, it's going to kick us straight away into the editor. And now that we created our funnel, I just bounced right back out of there. Then we can see here that it is currently in test mode. It has three steps. Uh, you got no opt-ins, no sales, no page views at this point, of course. You have analytics. Let's see what happens when we click on this. We go to an analytics page. We got overview. We got reporting. We got live views. So I'll have to make sure at some point here that I do another video on analytics as well. And you'll also see the analytics are available inside the funnel itself. Here we can open it up in a new window and here we can edit our funnel. So we can come in here and we have this called our summit funnel. So of course, as always, we can change our name. But you notice here is I just changed that to demo, demo summit funnel that it did not change this down here. So just be aware of that. You may need to come in here and change out what your path is. And then here we can decide, okay, which one of our domains do we want this on? And then we can have it be in test mode or not. And we can pick our our page style here as well, like we've seen on so many other things. And then down here at the bottom, if we want to create a share funnel, we can do that. And we can have categories here, which I'm not really sure what the categories, the purpose of them are, but you got generate leads or sell a product is the category. Again, not sure, but then we can click on this button here and it says your funnel is being published. You'll be notified when it's ready, but all you have to do is reload the page. You come back and it will have this share funnel be active. And I guess I, and this may be something new I have not seen before. You Apparently you can make that share funnel not active. So you could give it to one person and then you could deactivate it and then they'd never be able to share that again except for the fact that they could share it out of their own account. So I'm not sure what turning that off would do. So either way, you copy this, you give it to somebody, and they can load that into their account. As of the recording of this, November 13th, 2022, if somebody does share that into their account, you will not get them as an affiliate. So make sure that they sign up for 2.0 first using your affiliate link, and then you give them the share link. I'm sure at some point in the future, they'll combine the two of them together. But as of right now, their affiliate stuff is not turned on for um, the masses like us at this time. So I think that's really it for that page right there. Nothing else that we can see here. Of course, you have your user access, which actually per funnel... I'm not quite sure where you turn that on in the funnel itself. So that must have to be done at the level of the workspace or something else. And we'll look more at collaborations and teams and stuff like that in some other supplemental videos going forward. But let's just jump into our summit funnel now, go into the editor itself. And then in here, we have a whole bunch of things. We got, first off, we got our steps right here in the middle. But then you also have your little view over here. And that is called, let me see, that is called our mini map. And you can turn your mini map on and off over here. And you got your page previews. So in each one of these pages, as we build them out, there will be a preview of what the page is going to look like. Right now, we don't have anything in there. So it is showing us nothing. And then we can also turn on our analytics. But as of right now, I don't think it's going to populate anything because, again, this is an absolutely brand spanking new, um, new funnel that we haven't done anything with. And then if we come down here in the corner, we can click on this. And you can see in the middle it's getting bigger. We can make it smaller. We can reset it. And we can fit it to the screen. So that's just a matter of changing the size of things. And this here turns off the little mini thing. But as long as we're talking about this, let's see what happens. So now let's say we go into this funnel. Well, I guess in order to go into this funnel, we're going to have to first, um, we're going to have to first put in a template. So let us do that. And even though I turned this back off because it says here sales, but as I come in here, I'm not seeing anything on sales. But if I click on orders and then back to sales, now I'm going to see something here. It's just a little bit of a glitch where it wasn't loading up right away. And so now we can say we want to choose this one. 
And now here we're going to say, what do we want this uh, funnel to be called? And I want to call this my summit funnel. We'll, so we'll put that in there. And I'm doing this on purpose because I'm going to show you something. Here we can put in a description if you would like that's purely for you. Down here, though, the page title is what, again, is going to show up up there in the tab as well as being used for SEO of course so let's just put in here we got our summit funnel we're gonna call this then you want to put in your description for your metadata right there as well and we want this because it's the first page of our funnel we want this one indexed and so we're gonna say create this now when you're setting up your funnels most of the time that's exactly what you want to do is have them index the first page but not index any of the subsequent pages so we're going to create that page right now and now you're seeing here we got the uh, template in the back or the the uh, standard uh, placeholder image in the back there is what I'm looking for and then um, eventually that will populate it usually takes a little bit and then we'll actually see the picture of what this page should look like and then you also see that over here as well and so now if we go into this page you're going to see over here on the left hand side we are going to have um, basically what was down here in the corner enlarged and the cool thing is is you can actually move back and forth between these pages simply by clicking over here on the left hand side now in this case here i did not have anything in my order yet so let's come in here and again it automatically put us down here to order because it knows that this is supposed to be an order step and so let's just put in this one as our order step. So now here, I'm just going to call this for simplicity's sake, order step. And we'll call this here as well, order step. And you can fill in your description. And then we're going to say no on the search engines. And we're going to create that page. And now if we come into this page, you can see again pops up over here, but now let's see what happens if we click this. It should take us straight away into this funnel page. So once you have them both set up and you actually have some sort of content inside of there, then you can bounce back and forth between these two pages. And now what we could do is let us get out of this page here. So we have to click here. That'll take us back out. Now we're back on this page. And um, what I wanted to see here is, let's go here. This is what I wanted to do. And we got all of our different settings here. But let's come down here to the bottom first. So we got step settings. And here it says summit funnel dash dash BA384. Well, when somebody lands on that page now, this is what it's going to say is the summit funnel B8384. Well, I don't want it to show that on the very first page of my funnel, but I want to still be able to call it summit funnel. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out of here all of the way. We're going to come to our funnel itself. We're going to edit the funnel and we're going to change the name of this here. Well, in fact, we're not going to change the name of it there. We are going to change the name of the path. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this summit funnel loading. And what's going to happen is that summit funnel loading will show on the screen just for a split second, and then it'll lose the loading as it goes to that first page in the funnel. So now we're going to update our funnel and we're going to now go into that funnel itself. And we're going to go to the first page. Well, actually, we don't have to go to the first page of the funnel. We're going to come up here because you see the URL up here right now. You got Summit Funnel Loading as our path. And when we click this now, it is going to go to that first page. And we still have the BA384 attached to it. So we need to come in here. We're going to go to our Step Settings. And we are going to take off that BA384. And we're going to update that. And now we're going to go to it again. And now it just says Summit Funnel. And it's giving me a little bit of a problem here. This was working the other day. So it should be able to work. It's just uh, not working fully yet. But let's also, while we're doing this, let's go to our page settings. And over here again, the name of this page is our Summit Funnel. We can come in here. We can give it again a page title and a description right there. And it says here, Summit Funnel Page. That's okay. We'll leave that alone. We'll see if that does anything. Yes, we want this indexed. Yes, we want to put in a social sharing image in here of some sort. So let's just put in this one. 
And do I have to click on something after I click on it? Let me see here. It's not letting me save it. Let me see what I do here. Edit image, delete the image. Nope, we don't want to do either of those things. We just want to save the image. And it's not letting me. And now what is this page? This actually took me back to the page settings that is normally over here on the left-hand side. So something's not quite working there, right? So again, another little bit of a glitch inside of a brand new beta software, not a surprise. So you could put in an image there. And again, you can pick your um, page style down there as well. And then we're just gonna say we're gonna update our page. And now see right here, it says Summit Funnel. So let me click on that. Let me see if we get what we're looking for this time. Okay, so now we got what we were looking for. Let's say we wanna to go to the live page. There we go. Now we have Summit Funnel there and we have Summit Funnel up here at the top. And so that's exactly what we wanted. It just had not completely kicked in yet. Now let's take a look at a few other things you can do in here. One of which is you can move these around and see as I start to move down, you see there's a little box that's gonna pop up right down here where this circle is. It says, okay, I can move this there. So let's take this order confirmation. We're gonna move it up here. As soon as I start moving it, it's gonna turn into a little square here. And then when I get close, see so it turned into a little square. Now as I get close to it, now it's gonna turn into a big square. And so then once it turns into that big square, then you can drop it. And now I rearrange the order of these pages. Let's put them back where they had been. So we can rearrange order of pages right here. This little warning is this, this step expects products to be attached. So again, this is an order form page. So it wants to see some products there. So let's take a look at that right now because we already looked at the step settings and the page settings. So now we can add some products and we can add a product. And, and in this one here, I do have some products set up. So we're gonna choose that product right there. And we can click on the gear and we can give it a title override, a description override, because again, remember these products can be used in multiple different places. So we can override what's being called and we can also say whether or not it is to be the order bump for it. And let me see, does this get me anything here? So there's a product or demo product, $27. It's just basically the information about it. And then we can update that product and include it on the page. And let me see, turn on, on turn on offer it in order bump by clicking on the, okay, so turn it, it tells you how to turn it into an order bump right there. So now that we got our product set up, it actually shows us that we got a little shopping bag, it looks like there is that icon. And so we got our product all set up. And then what else can we do here? We can attach a workflow. You can attach a workflow by clicking there or by coming up here and attaching a workflow. But like I said, that's gonna be a different video. We'll go into workflows and setting up emails and all that kind of stuff when we're talking about marketing stuff later on. Like I said, a little bit of, most of that stuff is not fully turned on yet, so it might be a little bit before I shoot those videos. And then we can split test our page. And so we can put in a split test here. And so we got this one here, and I'm wondering now, can I duplicate this one somehow? I don't see a way to duplicate this. And nope, be nice if I could just duplicate this and then put it over here. But let me see here if I put in a plus, let's put in a page now. And let me see, we're gonna go to my funnel pages, because remember I said that all those funnel pages that we had on that other, other page all could be used inside of any funnel that we want. And so here's basically the same page is just called, well, actually this one here is probably the one I'm working on is order step is what I called it. So let us choose this one and we'll call this one here now order step two. And we will create that page. We don't want that to be indexed, so we'll turn that off. And now we have to set a product on that one again. So add a product right there. We'll add this product. And let's say, let's put in a different product because we're testing these two products against each other, let's just say, as an example here. So we will do that. Now we have it here. So now you can make any changes you want on these two. And then you can come through your split test. And so you go from here and then we'll do a 50-50 split and it'll say, okay, which one of these two products is doing better after the initial summit funnel up here at the top. Let's see, we click on this, we can 
change the amount that goes to each one. And I think that's probably about what you can do there. And then if you put in a split test and then you say, oh, I don't want the split test anymore, you click here. And do you want to get rid of both sides, one side or the other? In this case here, we want to get rid of only the right-hand side because of the left-hand side is what we had originally. So here'd be the left-hand side. That's what we had originally in our split test. We added a right-hand side, so we want to remove the right-hand side. Because if we click on both, it's going to get rid of that order step completely, and we don't want to do that. We just want to put in the or get rid of the one that we put on the right-hand side, and now we are back to where we were right here. And let me see, is there anything else really to work on? Uh, as you see here, none of this ever. I'm going into the editor and working on the editor because, again, that's totally different training on how to be using the editor and, and elements, and that's all going to be in the supplemental training on how to use the editor. But let me see over here. We can turn this right now saying we're in test mode. And so if you're in test mode, of course, if you come onto this page, let's just preview this page. If you're in test mode, it will give you this test credit card number up here at the top. You just copy that. You go into your page and um, it's not letting me go because I don't have the information. But either way, you use that credit card and you're, when, you're, when you're doing your test funnels like this. So we got that and then we got our analytics. Again, we saw this pop up before. We can turn that back off. And then we have our settings again where we're going to put in our name. We can choose the domain that we are on. And then again here where we uh, had changed this path to Summit Funnel Loading. I guess I could have done that right from here. Change that to Summit Funnel Loading. Then once it loads, it loses the loading. Gives us just su Summit Funnel. So it gives us a nice clean URL, nice clean path for when we are you know, putting this out to the public so you can give them a nice clean path to look at instead of having to have that dash, whatever the heck it was at the end on there. And so I think that's really it for looking at an existing funnel. So I'm going to end this video now. And then in the next video, we are going to go through how to set this up from absolutely empty plain account and go through and set up each individual item. So as always, if you got any questions, just let me know.